Hi, my name is Samal and in this video I will talk about how we can utilize Simulink image type while working with OpenCV code. We will start with the modified importer for importing OpenCV code and using Simulink image type. Then we will touch upon the new converter blocks which can be used for interfacing between Simulink image type and the other Simulink blocks. And finally, we will be generating deployable code from a model involving both Simulink image type and OpenCV code. Simulink image type helps in containing image attributes like number of rows, columns, channels and other image properties along with image data as a Simulink signal. For this example, I have a simple lane detection algorithm from the OpenCV community. Here the lanes are detected using Hoflines algorithm from an input frame. The code can be imported as a new project using the OpenCV importer. After giving a new name for the project, we can select all the necessary source and include files. Further, we can select the entry function and the input output type for each of the variables. Here we have added options to specify the default simulating image type attributes. By selecting the checkbox, the default subsystem will be configured to use simulating image type instead of matrix data type. For this example, I will be using the RGB color format and column major array layout. Once the subsystem is generated, we can drag the subsystem to the required model for simulation. From multimedia file block and video viewer block has been modified to work with Simulink image type. The OpenCV code highlights the detected lane boundaries as lines and provides us with a predicted point of intersection for those lines. To utilize the intersection information for lane curvature analysis, I have created a MATLAB function block with the necessary algorithm. For processing the simulating image signal in MATLAB function block, we have added two new conversion blocks, the matrix to image block and the image to matrix block. Here I will be using the image to matrix block to facilitate the conversion from simulating image type to matrix format. The conversion blocks takes the parameter of the required image matrix for conversion. With these modifications, we can see that the curvature information is overlaid on the top left side of the output video. Simulating image type and OpenCV subsystem can also be used with code generation workflows. Here we can see the generated code corresponding to the subsystem, image construction, and finally, our handwritten OpenCV code. Thank you.